Hello there, welcome to Energize with Emily. Thank you so much for joining me today. It's Upper Body Strength Day and I added some cardio in there as well. I love showing you guys that you can get a great workout right from home, limited time, space, and equipment. Today's workout's gonna be about 35 minutes long and you don't need a lot of space. And in terms of equipment, I am using um, medium to heavy weights. I'm using 10s and 15s. If you have, you know, if you wanna use three, fives, eights, that's fine. If you don't have weights, you can use soup cans, water bottles. You guys, I love doing these programs with you. Don't forget to subscribe to Energize with Emily. We're gonna start with our warm up, and the way I'm gonna break down the workout is we're gonna do um, one muscle group at a time. So we're gonna start with chest, do um, three exercises. It's gonna be 40 seconds on, 20 seconds off, times two sets. And then we're gonna add in a couple cardio moves, and the cardio moves, just two cardio moves, 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off, times three sets of that. And then we're gonna go into um, shoulders, we're gonna do 40 on, 20 off, times two sets, cardio. It's gonna be two exercises, 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off, and then triceps, and we're gonna add some cardio in there. All right, so hopefully it makes sense to you. Um, you may need a mat as well. I will put down below the link of the mat that I have because I love my mat. It's half inch foam. Oh my goodness, you guys, if you need a mat, love this mat. Um, don't forget your water, a towel, and yes, you guys, a positive attitude. We're gonna get started with our warm up. All right, you guys, today I'm gonna to just do the back and forth, and you can always modify by taking out the impact and just stepping side to side for this one. Ooh. And then we're gonna do butt kicks, and you can modify by just stepping it out like this. <sighs> Jumping jacks. Remember, you can always take out the um, impact and just step side to side. And do a quad stretch. Get a chair if you need to hold on to something. I sometimes do the earlobe thing, helps me with my balance. Keep those legs close together. Quad stretch, um, quad step stretch. Got to warm up those arms. We're going to do some windmills going forward. Keep that core tucked in. And I'm going to go back. Woo. Warming up the upper body. We are going to be working it today. I'm going to go chest opener with a hug. Chest opener oh, with a hug. Feels good. All right, you guys, we're gonna go down in our runner's lunge. Hands on the inside of our foot. The leg that is bent, you're gonna bring that arm up and over. Switch to the other side. Oh, that feels so good. You can't forget to warm up before you work out, you guys. You gotta warm up those muscles before we get going. Some people just get into their workout and that's how you can hurt yourself. Pull a muscle. All right, we're gonna do downward dog. Alternating heel up. Oh, that feels so good. Oh, stretching out those hamstrings. Walk your feet in. Slowly come up. Guys, that is our warm up. Oh, if you guys are ready, I'm gonna get some water and then I'll show you our first exercise. Um, the first two exercises are gonna be on the ground, so you're gonna need your mat. If you don't have a mat, you can just use a towel on the ground. I'm gonna use my mat. All right, let me angle this down so you can see me. There we go. All right, I'm gonna use my 15s for this first exercise. It's gonna be a chest press. So I'm gonna be on the ground. Hopefully you guys can see me. Angle well. Yes, I can see Okay, so it's gonna be a chest press for the first exercise. Put the um, elbows down to 90. Weight's gonna be out to the side, and then you're gonna come up over your chest and bring the weights back out to the side like this. So straighten your arms, weights over your chest, and you're gonna lower slowly. The elbows bend at 90 back up. All right, you guys, let me get my timer. It's going to be 40 seconds on, 20 seconds off. 
So we'll do two sets of this and I'll show you the next exercise. All right. A few more seconds to rest before we start with our first exercise, chest press. As you're ready, here we go. Breathe out on the way up. I always say focus on form, not speed. Control on the way down. Keep that core tucked in. Breathe out when you come up. Weights over your chest. When you go down. When you go down, you don't want your elbows to touch the ground. Right, 10 more seconds before we do our second set. Remember, we do two sets of each exercise. You guys are ready? Here we go. Second set, chest press. Remember, bend your elbows to 90. But don't touch your arms to the ground. You have them about, I don't know, half an inch from the ground. chest fly, so you're going to stay on the ground. I'll show you this. All right, you only have a few seconds. All right, so what you can do over your chest, out to the side, slightly bend your elbow, back up, slightly bend your elbows, back up. You modify by using lighter weights. If you guys are ready, here we go. Go at your own pace. As I always say, echo up. Focus on form. Slight bend of those elbows. Do not touch your arms to the ground when you go out. Bring about an inch, half an inch to an inch off the ground. Slow and controlled. Breathe out. You come up. Great job. We're going to do one more set. I'm going to shift over a little bit. Ten more seconds. We have our second set. Start with your weights over your chest. You guys are ready? Here we go. Chest fly. Alright, we're gonna stand up for our next exercise. Whew. It's gonna be a standing chest fly. Here. Alright, I'm gonna use my tens for this one. Alright, what you're gonna do, stand with feet shoulder width apart. You're gonna stand with the weights, your palms facing out, and what you're gonna do is you're gonna alternate, crossing one arm to the shoulder, slight bend in your elbow. Yes, you're working your shoulder, but you're also working your chest with this as well. So you're alternating standing um you're alternating standing chest fly 
You guys are ready? Here we go. Whew. Keep that core tucked in. Breathe out when you come up. As I always say, FOF, focus on form, not speed. When you come up, it goes about shoulder level, back down, crossing your body. Whew. Upper body is definitely a work in progress for me, you guys. I don't know if you guys don't mind the upper body strengthening. This is a tough one for me, upper body. Yeah, it's a tough one. Rest for 20 seconds. Whew. Get those weights ready. Feet shoulder width apart. Weights, palms facing out. Shoulders back if you guys are ready. Here we go. Slight bend in your elbow. Like I said, you just go up to shoulder height, cross your body. Get some water real quick. We're going to do the cardio moves. So it's two cardio moves back to back. I'm going to show you what they are. When the first one is a lateral shuffle dumbbell press, which is kind of like a lateral shuffle with a big basketball pass. Um, I think I'm going to do my 15 for this one. I might regret it. So we will see. Oh, I don't even know. I'm going to try it with 15. Maybe I'll just use my 10. So anyways, you're going to shuffle. Lateral shuffle. One, two, pass. One, two, okay, that lateral. You're gonna turn and press out. So you're gonna do one, two, pass. One, two, pass. And I'm gonna use my 10. That's a little too heavy. So that's the first exercise. The next one is gonna be the inchworm with a with one push-up. So you're gonna go out in your inchworm. I'm gonna do my push-up on my knees. You can do it on your feet if you want. Push up, back in. And back down. So focus on form, but you also want to see how many you can do because it's just 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off, times three sets. Whew. All right, you guys, let me see here. I got to reset my timer here. Let me get that set up if I can. I don't know why it's not showing up. I need my timer here. Yes, you guys, I just used an old phone. That's what I use. Trying to get to my timer. I don't know why my timer's not showing up. Let me try it again. There we go. Okay. Whew. Get the timer set up. Yes, I need to get a new timer. So, anyways, we have a couple more seconds left before we do our lateral shuffle dumbbell pass or press. Here we go. One, two, out. One, two, out. One, two, out. One, two, pass. One, two, pass. Almost there. All right. Ready for our inchworm with our push up. Whew. You guys ready? Here we go. Inchworm, push up. Inchworm, push up. Inchworm, push up. Inchworm, push up, almost there. All right, Whew. All right, get ready for your lateral shuffle. Whew. With your ba basketball pass. Here we go, lateral shuffle, pass.
Let's run a push up. A couple more seconds. Here we go. Inchworm. I do my push up on my knees. Back in. Push up. Inchworm. Push up. Oh. Inchworm. Push up. Last time, lateral shuffle with dumbbell press. Whew. Guys, ready? Here we go. One, two, press. One, two, press. guys last time inchworm the push-up here we go inchworm push-up First one is done. Get something to drink. We're gonna do our shoulders next. Whew. Two exercises in this one for the shoulders. All right. All right. These two are gonna be standing. First one's gonna be the Arn um, alternating Arnold sh shoulder press. Whew. I'm going to try my 15s when I show you. See how that ends up. Maybe I'll go to my 10s. Like I, guess, like I tell you guys, upper body is a work in progress for me. Right, so what you're going to do, you start with your um, elbows bent, feet shoulder width apart. And what you're going to do, your palms are facing you and you're going to alternate. So you go up, you're going to turn so your palms facing out, back down, and do the opposite arm, back down. All right, so up. You turn so your palm is facing up. Bring it back down. Palm facing in, up, and down. All right. Whew. That's our first exercise. We'll do two sets of that for 40 seconds. A couple more seconds. Whew. And here we go. Alternating Arnold press. Breathe out when you go up. I have to be careful, I did something to my left shoulder. Still not sure what I did to it. Keep that core tucked in. Ooh. Seconds to rest. Ooh. Second set. Alton Arnold press. Feet shoulder width apart. Ooh. Elbows bent. Palms facing in. Here we go. Breathe out when you come down. I mean, when you go up. Breathe out. Keep that core tucked in. As always, focus on form, not speed. As you notice, I'm going slow. Slow and controlled. If you go too fast, you can hurt yourself. This left shoulder, I don't know what I did to it, so I gotta take it easy with it. Whew. Almost there. Whew. Oh my goodness. So glad that one's done. All right, let me show you guys the next exercise. It's gonna be lateral press, or lateral raise, I'm sorry, lateral raise and front raise. All right, I'm gonna use my tens here. All right, stand up, feet shoulder width apart, weights in front of you. 
weights facing each other, your palms facing each other, what you're gonna do, lateral raise, so you go about to shoulder height, and you're gonna go front raise. All right, so you can do like this too, front raise, turn the weights, lateral raise, turn the weights. So the weights are facing you, front raise, weights facing each other, palms facing each other, lateral raise, okay? If that's kind of heavy, because I'm gonna do this a little every once in a while, one at a time, front raise, lateral raise, alternate, front raise, lateral raise. Whew, this is a tough one. <sighs> and a few more seconds, two sets of 40 seconds on, 20 seconds off. All right, get ready. Feet shoulder width apart. Start with our lateral raise. Here we go. And the weights, front raise. Lateral raise, front raise. You can alternate your arms if you want, which I may do. I'm gonna do one lateral raise. Now one front raise. Woo. Lateral raise, it's about shoulder height. Front raise, shoulder height. I'm gonna try doing both of them again. Woo. And front raise, oh. Back to one arm. Front lateral raise, front raise, whoo! Lateral raise, front raise. Oh my goodness. Whoo! Oh, high five, high five. One set of those down. One more to go. I'm using tens. I wish I had eights with me, but it is what it is. Oh, focus on form. If you need to do one arm at a time, that's okay. If you're ready for a second set, start with the lateral raise. Here we go. I'll start out doing both arms. I'm sure I'll have to switch to just doing one at a time. That's okay. No shame in my game. Whew, I don't want to get hurt. I'm going to go to one arm at a time. Lateral raise. Whew. Front raise. 15 seconds left. Lateral raise. Front raise, try to do them both together. Lateral raise, oh, front raise, Woo. try it again. Lateral raise, front raise, oh, is it done yet? Yes, it is. Woo. Oh, glad that one's done. High five, high five. All right, we're gonna do our cardio Tabata next. It's gonna be press jacks, and then four mountain climbers and one plank walk. So I'll show you the exercises. With the press jack, you can do it with or without weight. I'm gonna do it with weight. So what you're gonna do, Jack, bring your arms up. You can do it without weight as well. So that's our first exercise. 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off. And now we're gonna go on the ground. We're gonna do four mountain climbers. One, two, three, four. We're gonna walk to the side. One, two, three, four. Walk to the side. You can modify by one, two, three, four. Stepping, bring your knees on the ground. And then you can go one, two, three, four. Put your knees in the ground if you want. Step over to the side if that's how you want to do it. Whatever works for you. All right, so 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off, times three sets. Whew. All right, a couple more seconds. We'll start. First set of press jacks. Whew, here we go. Keep that core tucked in. Breathe out when you go up. All right, gonna go on the ground. You ready for our four mountain climbers to our plank walk? Here we go. One, two, three, four. Walk over with your plank. One, two, three, four. Walk over a plank. One, two, three, four. Go at your own pace. Focus on form. Hands under the shoulders. Core tucked in. Back flat. You don't want to have your butt in the air. Woo. High five. Oh, high five, high five. Woo. Second set of press jack. Here we go. Okay, 
ready for the four mountain climbers. Plank walk, here we go. Walk over, hands under your shoulders. Core tucked in back flat. You don't want to have your butt in the air, you want to hit flat. in a few seconds. Woo. Guys, we're ready. Last set, press jacks. Here we go. You guys, I always say this workout's tough for me too. All right. Whew. Let me show you the first exercise. It's going to be overhead tricep extension. You can use two weights for this. I'm just going to use one heavy weight. I'm going to use my 15. Maybe I should have got my 20, but this is what it is. All right. So go like this. Keep the elbows bent to start out. Keep your arms close to your ears. You're going to come up. And back down slowly. Keep those arms close to your ears. Back up. Come back down. I can show you with two weights. If I have my tens, maybe I'll try it like this. If you have two weights, put them together. Same idea. Keep the arms close. Oh, oh my goodness. Yes, I tell you guys all the time. Upper body is something I have to work on. Oh, so you can do it like that with two weights. I'm going to do it with my 15. Should have got my 20, but it is what it is. So we're gonna do 40 seconds on, 20 seconds off times two sets. All right, if you guys are ready, got a few more seconds left. Oh, all right, tricep extension. And here we go. Keep those arms close to your ears. Show you the side view. feeling it. Whew. Arms are shaking. That means I'm feeling it. Breathe out when you come up. Whew. Oh, keep those arms close to your ears. 10 seconds left. Focus on form as always, not speed. Whew. Especially with these strengthening exercises. Oh. Whew. Oh, goodness gracious. One set is down. I'm gonna go. We have about 10 more seconds to rest. Whew. Oh my goodness. All right. Here we go. Get ready. We have a couple more seconds. Second set. Here we go. Oh, I cannot wait for these to be over. Whew. Arms close to the ears. Oh, definitely feeling it. Oh, wait. All right. Halfway done. Less than 20 seconds. Oh. Focus on form, not speed. I'm definitely slowing down. Whew. Oh, my goodness. Oh. Whew. Yes, you guys, these are tough for me. Oh, my goodness. Whew. Oh, almost there. Oh, thank God. All right, you guys. The good news is that exercise is done. The bad news is we have one more tricep exercise. 
it's going to be um, a one arm tricep extension. So we're just going to focus on one arm at a time. All right, so what you're going to do, hinge the hips like you're leaning forward, all right? Slightly bend the knees. So you're going to put your back flat. Start with your weight close to your, um, your body, close to your chest. Keep that arm close to your body the whole time. Kick back, bring it in. Oh my goodness. Oh, my arms are already on fire with that one. Oh. So we're going to do 40 seconds on one side, 40 seconds on the other. Oh my goodness. We can do this, you guys. We can do this. Okay, that's what i got to tell myself. I can do this. All right, here we go. Tricep kick back. Ooh. Keep the arm close to your body. When I kick back, I try to keep it there for a second. Work that tricep. Ooh. Core tucked in, back flat. Only thing moving is that arm. Ooh. Kicking it back. Ooh. 15 seconds left. As always, focus on form, not speed. Almost there. Couple more. Woo! Thank God. All right. I'm gonna go to the other side. Woo! 40 seconds on this side, then we're gonna do our cardio, and we'll be done. Woo! All right, you guys, so we're gonna hinge at the hips, slight bend in the knee, start with your arm close to your body. Here we go. Woo! Kick back. Oh my goodness. Close to your body, almost there. Woo. Oh, high five, high five. Oh, thank goodness we're just doing two sets of our strengthening exercises. Oh my goodness. All right, we're gonna go on the ground for our last two exercises, our cardio moves. Woo. Angle this so you can see me. I'm exhausted. Oh my goodness. All right, here we go. Plank up and down. All right, so we're gonna go in high plank. So hands under your shoulders, core tucked in, back flat. All right, feet shoulder width apart. We're gonna go down on one arm, down on the other elbow, up with the arm that went down first, and up with the other. So I'm gonna go down, down, up, up. Down, down, up. Up. You can modify this as with any plank. You can do it on your knees. Still the same idea. Down, down, up, up. All right, you guys. 20, and then we're going to do, oops, I got to show you the other one. And our other exercise is going to be a Russian twist. I love Russian twists. Russian twist, punch. Russian twist, punch. Russian twist, punch. Russian twist, two punches. Russian twist, two punches. Love my Russian twist. Yes, you guys. <sighs> All right, so 10, 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off. Let me see here, okay. So I'm gonna turn over, a couple more seconds, we're gonna plank up and down. If you guys are ready, high plank, here we go. Oh, feet shoulders apart, go at your own pace. Core tucked in, back flat, hands under your shoulders. You do not wanna have your butt in the air, squeeze your buttocks. Squeeze your buttocks. Woo. Woo. All right, Russian twist with two punches. You guys are ready? I love my Russian twist. Here we go. One, two, two punches. One, two, two punches. One, two, two punches. Keep that core tucked in. Two, two punches. One, two, two punches. One, two, two punches. Go your own pace. All right. High five, high five. First set is done. 
go back over. Ready for a plank up, down. High plank, core tucked in, back flat. Here we go. Hands on your shoulders. Down, down, up, up. You can do this on your knees if you need to. Two punches. So Russian twist. Here we go. Russian twist. Two punches. Russian twist. Two punches. Twist. Two punches. Twist. Two punches. Woo. All right, you guys. Last set. You guys got this. Plank up, down. Here we go. Feet shoulder width apart. You know the routine. Down, down, up, up. On your knees if you want to. Woo. Down, down, up, up. Core tucked in. Back flat. Almost there. Oh. All righty. Russian twist with two punches. You guys are ready? Here we go. Twist and punch. Russian twist, two punches. Oh, we're almost there, you guys. Woo! Almost there. Russian twist, two punches. One more. Russian twist, two punches. Yes! Oh, so proud of you guys. High five, high five. You guys did it. That was a tough one. I'm not a fan of the upper body. You guys have no idea how happy I am that that is done. Whew. So now we're going to do some stretches. We're already down the ground, so let's do child's pose first. Oh, I love child's pose, okay? Feet um, shoulder width apart. You're going to sit back, put your buttocks against the your heels, arms out in front of you. Oh, that feels so good. All right, since we're down here, what we're gonna do, let me try to angle this a little bit. All right, so we're gonna go on all fours here. We're gonna go, bring your arm up, look up and over, and then you're gonna thread the needle, go through that arm, shoulder on the ground, try it again. Up, and the arm up, like you're looking, point it to the ceiling, thread the needle, oh. Whew, one more. In that chest, shoulder. Oh, now let's do the other side. Hand, fingers pointing toward the ceiling. Thread the needle. Oh, that feels so good. Whew. Don't forget to stretch at the end of your workout, you guys. Helps prevent injury. Helps with flexibility and it helps you're not so sore. One more. Thread the needle. Whew. All right, I'm gonna move that. I'm gonna do our runner's lunge. This time I'm gonna put the knee down. I lean forward through the hips. Oh. And lean back to the hamstring. Oh. When you lean forward, that back hip, you're really stretching out that back hip. Oh, that feels so good. And you're gonna sit back and it stretches out that front hamstring. We're gonna switch sides. As you see, my back knee is down. Oh, so really lean forward, stretching out that back hip. Whew. Oh, stretch that front hamstring. Feels so good. Oh. You guys, the warm up and the cool down really just takes about three, maybe four minutes. You don't need a lot of time, but you do need to warm up, warm up those muscles. You need to stretch at the end. Like I said, helps prevent injury, helps with flexibility, and helps so you're not so sore. Whew. All right, we're gonna go in our downward dog, alternating heel up, 
Oh, stretching out those hamstrings some more. Walk your feet in, slowly come up. All right, we're gonna do a couple more stretches for the upper body. Let me just straighten this out so you can see me. All right, so we're gonna cross our arms, we're gonna clasp those hands. Oh, stretching out the back. And then you're gonna clasp your hands behind you, stretching out the, the chest and your shoulders. Oh, we just worked and we gotta stretch them out. Whew. One more. Oh, this stretch I need to do more often. Whew. Cause we kind of get hunched over. You gotta stretch those, put those shoulders back, stretch out that chest. Whew. All right, we're gonna stretch out those triceps. Oh, just work those. Almost done, you guys. Whew. All right, you guys, we are done. Oh. So, you guys, this is just part of a larger picture. You can check my website, energizedentallyfitness.com. You can find out more about my program. So, this is part of a larger picture, a program I've been doing for over the past five years. The workout stream through any device. For all different fitness levels, I started out as a beginner five years ago using my three and five pound weights. Trust the process. You're not always going to be motivated, you guys. That's another thing. Oh, how do you stay motivated? You guys, I'm not always motivated. I don't want to do the workout sometimes. Like today, I don't like upper body strength and day. I'm not motivated. But consistency, discipline, determination will get you results. I always compare it to when you learn how to walk, you guys. You fell, you got back up. You fell, you got back up. Same when you learn how to ride a bike. You wanted to learn how to do it. And then once you learn how to walk, eventually you learn how to run. Okay, so trust the process. It's gonna take maybe longer than you think, you guys. Life happens, all right? You might not get the results as quickly as you want. You gotta keep going, keep going. All right, so with this program, there's workouts for all different fitness types, all different fitness levels, personal trainer, stream through any device, showing you modifications, working out with you. So if you wanna join the program, I let you guys know, it's $99 for the full year. I don't hide the price, it's $99 for the full year. It gets you access to 80 workout programs, over 2,000 workouts, that's 8,025 cents per month for the workouts. Now, if you want nutrition plans and um, you can get to try one or two products, that's 160 for the full year, you guys. That's about, what, $15 a month. Your health is investment, not an expense. So um, there's the fitness for 99, but you can get the fitness and nutrition plans and um, get to try one or two products for 160 for the full year. Check out my website, energizedemilyfitness.com. You can also check me out on Instagram, energizedemilyfitness. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, Energize with Emily. Um, you can check out, check out other workouts I linked down below. But if you um, subscribe to the channel, you can see all my other workouts. I have upper body strengthening, lower body strengthening, total body strengthening, um, cardio core, hit, Tabata workouts, ab workouts, you guys. So yes, you need to do strengthening three to four times a week, helps burn calories longer, boost your metabolism, develops lean muscle, and don't forget to do your cardio core hit workouts like two times a week because you want to keep your heart pumping to work on that endurance. But, um, so that is about fitness, nutrition, you guys. Abs are made in the kitchen. Eat protein in every meal. Keeps you satisfied longer. Drink half your body weight in fluid ounces of water a day. If you guys are interested, I have a, a lot of meal plans I, I have on my website now as well. People have been asking me what I eat, so I put some meal plans together. Gluten-free, dairy-free, whole foods. I have meal plans. Um, like I have digital courses, how to transition from fast food to fresh food. How to transition to gluten-free, dairy-free, because some people want to do it, but like, how do I do it? So I have some digital courses with meal plans as well for that. I have some challenges, some fitness challenges. You want to for those? I have so many things, you guys. So many products. I'm so excited. You guys wanna? You guys like the clothes I'm wearing? Um, use code Emily01. You can check out on Instagram or on my website. Um, the program or the company I purchase my clothes through. They're so comfortable, and you guys, they have pockets as well. They're so comfortable. So anyways, check that out. Get 20% off. Use code Emily01. And don't forget mindset. I always end my workouts with mindset. Feel your mind with positivity. I just go on YouTube. I type in motivational speeches, motivational songs, listen to podcasts, go on Pinterest, write down positive affirmations, put them on your mirror, put them on your fridge. You guys feel your mind with positivity. All right. Um, if you're stressed, we all like life happens. You get stressed. You can meditate. You can journal. Go for a walk. Talk to a friend, journal. There's all different ways out there, you guys, to manage your stress because it will wreak havoc on you. Get enough sleep, seven to nine hours of sleep a night. I think that's it. All right. So thank you so much for joining me. And guys, always end it with when in doubt, dance it out.
knows how it makes you feel. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, Energize with Emily. Check me out on Instagram, Energize with Emily Fitness. TikTok as well, Energize with Emily Fitness. And I will see you guys later. Bye.